We're taking it down to the wire on today's beads, baubles, and jewels. Jewelry expert Judy Hendricks is here today with us, and we are going to talk about memory wire. Yeah. Now, you have brought with you a gorgeous bracelet that we're going to reproduce. And Judy, I know, like me, many people who start taking up making jewelry and beading, memory wire is the first material that they work with, correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. It's Because it's so easy to work with. Yes. Um, I think it's just... Uh, it, it just automatically goes and does its own thing, so yes. it's really fun. So it, it kind of gives you enough encouragement to do it well the first time, right. so you keep moving on to right. more difficult right. projects. And you don't need needles and all those things yeah. that you have to learn to thread. Which is good. Um, okay. It comes in different sizes. Mm -hmm necklace, uh, bracelet, and rings. Okay. And it, you can see it's very tightly coiled. So when we start working with it, we kind of like to stretch it out a little bit because right. it, it's easier to work with. And Makes what, it a little more yeah, durable. Yeah, right. And, mm -hmm. Flexible and so forth. So I kind of stretch it a little bit and then I'm just going to clip it. You're going to decide how many coils you want. It comes in 12 coils. Okay. And um, you just I'm clip going it to, to the use, size that you want. Right. Okay. On, on the bracelet, we use six coils. Okay. And again, I'm going to stretch it just a little bit so that I can work with it a little bit. Okay. And I've laid my design out on the board already so that we know what we want it to look like as we go around. And right. again, it's so simple because you're just repeating the pattern over and over again, and you're doing it up your wrist until you decide how long you really want it. So you already have your bead design right. laid out for you. Right. Okay. But before we do that, we want to do something so that they all don't go flying off the end. <laughs> so you'll see how strong this memory wire is just by how we curled the end up. Mm -hmm. You're going to actually take your pliers okay. and you go bend it towards you a little bit, and it twists. See how strong yeah. it is? And we're just going to twist just a little bit. And that's good to know. So that if you put all oh. this work into the bracelet, it's not something that's going to break so easily. So it is nice right. and durable. Okay. And really all I'm doing is keeping the hook on there until it doesn't fly off because we're going to put a pretty little dangle on the end of it. Okay. We're going to fix that and make it pretty. Okay. Okay. And then, of course, you're going to start with your pattern, and you're just going to start stringing your beads on. And you don't need a needle in this one, of course, because it's already strong, mm -hmm. which is cool. So we just start stringing until you get as many mm -hmm. on that you want. And when you're finished doing, getting it as, as wide as you want, and you can even cut this in the middle. If you decide that, oh, I've, I started with six or seven, and right. it's way bigger when the beads got you on because it's expanded. You want something a little more petite or right. delicate. You, you would just, just go ahead it. and cut it, okay? Good. And then again, when you got them all on and you pull them up nice and tight, you would put your little, do your little loop again on the mm -hmm. other end. And with that little loop, what we're going to do is put a little head pin on the end of it okay. with a little dangle Great. so that it'll look nice. You want it to look, have a nice little finished look. Right. Um, the head pins come in all different um, sizes and colors, but you'll see on these they have real pretty mm -hmm. ends on them. I noticed you have gold too. Which yes, is we nice. do. So yes. you can. You're not just limited to silver pieces. Right. And okay. I love mixing silver and gold yes. too. I do I that do a too. lot. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do now is it called a gallery wrap, and it's a very finished look. Um, I put put my beads on in my head on to my head pin, mm -hmm. and it's very simple. You're going to simply start with a 90 degree angle okay. and you make your pliers do the work on this one. I'm going to move them so that I have something to go around okay. and you would do it closer to the end because we want it little but I, so that you can see it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bend it around and now you see my bead is in the way. Right. So I'm going to move this out and move my plier up there uh -huh. and now I'm simply going to start twisting this wire around so right. that's what secures that right. bead. And right next to each other, so it makes it nice, nice finished edge like this. Beautiful. You would clip the excess mm -hmm. wire off, and obviously. And it's nice having that decorative um, end yes, to it the Yes, it does, and it looks, it mm -hmm. does, a, it has a very professional look. Yes. And, and it also adds a little <laughs> dangle to it, too. Great. So, and so that's, that's a, it. Do you believe that? That's how simple a bracelet is to make. Let's look at the um, final product, and you can see it looks great. And you just have as many loops as you want. The beads are all there. Right. And don't you think it's very elegant? It is chic? elegant. It's very elegant. And it was very simple, think, right. but yet you can have something that looks very polished, which is right. great. And I think a lot of people with memory wire, they don't think that. No. So Now, you have some coordinating pieces to go along with it. Yes. Which are just amazing. Let's start with that beautiful necklace. I just, I, because I thought the colors were so rich in the bracelet, I decided to do this one very elegant. So I made uh -huh. a very heavy bead. Now you understand that the memory wire is kind of tight. Right. So it, if it's heavy, it's going to bring that down and not... Which is good because that's right. always my concern, I think, with using it for a necklace because you think it's going to just choke you. Right. So and it nice. won't. We are going to work the beads again. And that's again. a good tip to use maybe a heavier bead. Correct. Now talk about 
the center. How did you do that one? Is that a little different? It is because we had this one, the bracelet laid out where we uh -huh. went from the end out because we're starting in the middle. Okay. I actually just took tape mm -hmm. after I got my bead in the center, my large bead in the center, taped the other end, made my pattern, uh -huh. and then I did a mirror image on the other ah. side. So once I was satisfied with it, you don't want to try to string from both ends because you would get lost, and right. if you didn't like it, it would you would have to do it over again. Right, so that's a good tip. Yes. And then you have the beautiful ring. Yeah, just a little ring just to make it look... It's just a complete set. Right, just a set. And it wasn't that's very set. difficult at all. Right. And look at that gorgeous turquoise necklace. Now, the turquoise one is a little bit different, and the reason I showed it to you is because most people think in memory wire, you have to keep the coils going around and round. You really don't. If you'll see, that is, that's why the clasp is showing. Um, oh. We've used the turquoise and the spacer bars there, but we've clipped the, the memory wire and so added a clasp. Three separate ones. Three separate strands. And it, but it, what it does is it keeps its shape, mm -hmm. which is really nice. That's yeah. what the memory does. Yeah, because you would think of that with a different type right, of Right, exactly. And what about the bracelets? The bracelets, I think, are just fun. I wanted you to see them because that's usually what people start with. Uh -huh. um, the very first one, believe it or not, was a necklace that I found in a garage sale that I just cut apart, and they're very heavy, so you, you can't can make use something them. out of everything. Yeah, <laughs> and you can't use them all the time on no. on threads because it is too heavy. They're glass. Mm -hmm. Or on the memory wire, you can because the memory wire is very strong. Right. And the one in the center had I broke into two separate pieces uh -huh. because that's a button. So I, I How did the wire around the button. Tell me about the last two bracelets. Those are the most traditional. Mm -hmm. they, they are what most people start with. And it has buttons and charms and all kinds of fun things on it. And the, the little one at the bottom is just mm -hmm. a single strand that, a, that a, even a child could do. And right. they love wearing them. It's just, it's just a fun thing. Right. And charms are so popular. They really are. They really are. Thank you so much, Judy, for showing us all the things we can do with memory wire. You're welcome. And Katie has more tips for using memory wire in today's beading lesson.